Okay, trying to help my buddy Ed this morning here. Um, he uh, he called his uh, regulator manufacturer for his alternator, uh, and, and basically what they told him was that, uh, well, if your solar panel is putting out 14.6 volts uh, and, and the regulator is set lower, it's just going to shut your alternator off. Well, in a sense, that's true. Uh, if the solar panel can get the batteries to 14.6 volts. What I think they failed to ask Ed was how big is your battery bank, what uh, size is your alternator, what size are your solar panels, because Ed has a 900 amp hour battery bank, uh, a 100 amp alternator, and uh, about 280 watts of solar, which equates to you know roughly 16 amps of charge current max. So what I'm trying to do today uh, for Ed is just to this is a 125 amp hour battery. Uh, I loaded it up here with uh, a ceramic disc uh, heater and my inverter. Um, as you can see, pulls right, right around 95 amps out of the battery. Um, but I didn't run it for very long. I just you know, ran it long enough to to get the battery uh, to go into. Uh, bulk mode. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use uh, to to show this. Uh, this tool here makes it easy. This is a benchtop power supply. It's specifically designed for batteries because it's got an over over voltage protection. Uh, I use it for equalizing batteries, charging batteries on the bench, and it really does a good job at showing the two sides or two separate uh, parts of a of a battery charger, and that is your current amperage and uh, the voltage side. And what's going to happen when I power this up, this is a 30 amp charger or power supply. Uh, the battery can accept a little bit more current than what this can put out, but it's right, it's real close. It's pretty close to the same. So we're going to see this go right into constant current mode the minute I fire it up. And I'm going to start it up now. And uh, so what, what's happening here is that the power supply is throwing 30.4 amps of charge current, which is about the most it can put out, um, at this battery. And we're watching the voltage here climb. Again, I didn't take a lot of current out of it. Uh, and I believe I have the voltage set for somewhere around 14.2 maybe. Um, yeah. See, what's happening now is the current is uh, being limited because now we've gone into constant voltage mode. See, it switched to CV from CC. If I, uh, if I turn the heater back on and apply a load to the system, we'll see what happens. We're going to watch the voltage drop because the, the, the charger cannot maintain the current. And this is just like the solar panels would not be able to do. Okay, so here comes the heater. As we can see, the battery charger or solar panels or uh, you know whatever it is alternator have gone right back into constant current mode because the, the load that's applied to the system exceeds what the charge um, equipment can put out and we see that even with 30.4 amps being applied uh, the battery voltage is only 12.1 so now I've shut the load off we can see the voltage come back up and um, you know eventually it's going to get up to its voltage limiting set point uh, and then what will happen, we're going to watch these red lights here, we're going to go from constant current mode back to constant voltage. And what that means is that we switch from the, the power supply putting out everything it can to the power supply trying to maintain a voltage and not go above it. So we're, we're preventing voltage overshoot. And the power supply or charger or alternator by controlling the field or solar panels in, in the controller basically switch on and off really fast and match the current needed to not overshoot the voltage. Now, watch what happens when I drop, because, because this is a power supply, I can control the amperage. So I can make this a 2 amp charger, which in a sense is going to put me very close to what Ed's uh, solar panels can put, put out in relation to his 900 amp hour battery bank. Now, if we look at what happened, we can see that um, a charge source only capable of two amps uh, puts us back into constant current mode obviously we're no longer limiting voltage and we're right back down to 12.9 volts and that's that's about all 
this two amps can support. So even if, if Ed's solar panels are pumping out 16 amps, all they could, and the battery could take a lot more current than that, in this case, you know, 25 amps, in his case, somewhere around 200 amps, um, then, then we're not going to get to that 14.6 volts, and his solar panels are not going to shut down his alternator. Uh, considering Ed's a cruiser, and he's out sailing, uh, and he's on the hook a lot, uh, he's going to be cycling his battery bank somewhere between, you know, 50 and 85 percent state of charge, which is going to pretty much keep him in bulk most of the time. So, with what he has on board, he's going to have a tough time even getting to 14.6. Um, I'm going to kick the, the current back up here. Uh, we're going to kick it all the way back up. We'll see we had a brief inrush. The battery would take it for a few seconds. Uh, and then we, we came quickly back up to our limiting voltage, uh, which is right around 14.2. I'm just going to adjust that to get it right at 14.2. Um, one thing that's also interesting is, is watch what happens. When I, when I turn the voltage up again, I'm going to go up here with the voltage. We'll also watch the current go up because now voltage is pressure. And when I go up to 14.6, you can see that we need a little bit more current to maintain that voltage. Uh, again, this is only a 125 amp hour battery. I only ran that heater for a short amount of time. The battery was pretty full. I'm going to guess maybe I took 10 amp hours out of it. Uh, you know, maybe 15. Um, certainly. Uh, with the pucret effect because I had such a high load on it I may be you know down into the 80 percent range state of charge but it you know it came up to voltage so so now we're at 14.6 we're back into constant voltage meaning we're limiting the voltage and this is the current that's needed to do that at at this voltage at this state of charge in the battery so uh, what we would see is as this battery fills back up this over here is going to continue to decline and all that's based on is not overshooting this voltage. This is just going to control the power supply so we don't overshoot 14.6. And as the battery fills up, we need less and less current to do that. Uh, right now, if we drop back again to the 2 amps, uh, you can see that um, we need a lot more than 2 amps of charge current to get anywhere even close to 14.6. This is still set at 14.6, but with 1.8 amps of charge current, Dial that up to two. Uh, you know we're barely, barely maintaining 13.1, and I would expect that probably drop back around 13 here. Um, but again, uh, current matters in relation to voltage at a state of charge. The less current you have, the later you're going to hit your absorption voltage in in state of charge. You know, so if you you have your 10 percent or 15 or 20 percent of your bank's capacity in charge current, you're going to hit your absorption voltage somewhere around 80-85% state of charge but if you have a lot less than that like we do here uh, obviously you're going to hit it a lot later so this this battery bank if I left this at 2 amps of charge current probably would not come up to 14.6 volts and in, somewhere into the high 90's in, in terms of percent of charge so I'll, you know again I'll kick this back up it's again the little inrush battery's going to accept it for a few seconds boom now we're going to go back into uh, see the voltage climb now watch when we hit 14.6, boom, voltage limiting, current limiting.